The creation of the International Space Station served as a symbol of the establishment of relations between the Soviet Union and the United States of America following the end of the Cold War. This unique scientific research center, located in Earth's orbit, has become a facility for solving tasks in the most extensive areas, from medicine to the technology of producing new substances and materials. Moreover, astronauts from different countries, regardless of the relations between their states on Earth, coexist on board. People are delivered to the ISS via the Soyuz space shuttle. One day, biologist Kira and engineer Christian are sent to the station, where four cosmonauts are already present. As Soyuz enters orbit, the Flight Control Center congratulates the pair, who are eagerly awaiting docking, joking about the Russian tradition of knocking on the door three times before opening it. Finally, the newcomers are greeted by their new teammates, American Gordon and Russian cosmonauts Nika, and brothers Nikolai and Alexei. Kira is amazed by the weightlessness and has to adjust to this new way of existence. Despite the language barrier and cultural differences, Americans and Russians get along well. Nika teaches Kira new Russian words commonly exchanged on the station. Then the woman is settled into her section. Gordon shows ways to get comfortable for the night. Personally, he sleeps in a bag, but some prefer free flight. The woman immediately gets to work, placing the mice she brought with her into cages. Alexei helps her and explains that they also had many mice, but they cannot live in space as there's nothing for them to hold on to. In the evening, the astronauts have a festive dinner where each shares stories about their place of birth and they sing popular songs together. The only rule on the station is not to talk about politics. The newcomers distribute gifts from loved ones and souvenirs brought from Earth. Then Kira looks at Earth from the space station for the first time and her colleagues explain the main effect of the view. From here, borders are invisible and all of humanity is united and indivisible. Later, Nika helps Kira get ready for the night, as the first night is the hardest. But in the morning, the woman wakes up in excellent spirits, which is spoiled when she sees the mice in poor condition. Distraught, Kira looks at Earth and suddenly notices numerous flashes in the United States. She calls the others, and people realize that a nuclear war has started on the planet. Gordon orders everyone to immediately leave the dome and closes the shutters. Communication on board the station is interrupted, but everything works in normal mode. Then Gordon receives a written message from Houston, stating that an act of aggression has occurred between Russia and America, and he must take control of the station by any means necessary. Later, he discusses this message with Kira and Christian, who suspect that the Russians received a similar order from their government. Nevertheless, people decide to wait at least a day before taking any action. But then, Nika reports a problem with the thrust. It turns out that the station is in too low an orbit and could fall to the Earth's surface unless the center makes system adjustments. The first tension among the astronauts begins to arise, as each thinks of their family left below. Nikolai informs the crew that the radio may not work because the antenna outside the station is broken, and it can only be fixed manually. Gordon goes out into space. Nika helps him put on his spacesuit and kisses the man goodbye, making it clear that their relationship is more than just professional. Once in open space, Gordon sees Earth engulfed in flames and asks Kira not to let anyone near the windows. Then he begins his work. To distract her colleague from negative thoughts, Kira asks Gordon about his relationship with Nika. He admits that he met her here, in space, and changes the topic to Kira's personal life. She shares that she spent seven years studying organ replacement, but faced failure, though everything might work out in zero gravity. Meanwhile, Alexei listens to their conversation and then cuts the wire. While Christian tries to find the reason for the loss of communication, the Russian cosmonaut replaces the damaged wire with another piece that looks intact, so the American finds nothing wrong. Gordon, meanwhile, approaches the antenna, for which he has to unhook the overly short safety tether. He realizes that the antenna is fine. Then a mechanical arm starts moving, threatening the astronaut's safety. It turns out to be Nikolai's doing, without the knowledge of Alexia Nika. Gordon tries to call out to Kira, but the mechanical arm knocks him off the station's surface and throws him into open space. Nika and Kira try to see the astronaut through the windows, then put on spacesuits and rush to the airlock. But upon extending the rescue rope, they find no astronaut at its end. Kira wants to go out and look for Gordon, but Christian asks her not to leave him alone with the Russians. They, in turn, confess to Nika that on the day communication was lost, they also received orders to eliminate the Americans by any means necessary. 
Alexei apologizes, not thinking his brother would do such a thing to Gordon, but the latter reminds him that he has no doubt the Americans would have done the same to them. Nika pleads with Alexei to save Gordon and threatens to tell everything to the Americans. She cries out of powerlessness, while Kira and Christian conclude that the Russians attacked first and Gordon is no more. Furious at her comrade's treachery, Nika goes to Kira and asks for her help. She is willing to give Kira her key in exchange for the key to the American locker. While she distracts her colleagues, Kira must sneak into the laboratory, open Locker Zero, take out samples of radiation sickness medicine developed by Alexei in orbit, get into the Soyuz, and return to Earth. Because only by having the medicines can the survivors of the nuclear war be saved. Initially hesitant, Kira is persuaded by the argument that only the state with the medicines can dictate terms to the defeated and agrees, exchanging her key for Nika's. Nika sneaks to the location of the oxygen tube's junction, where she is caught by Nikolai and Alexei. They realize that the woman is ready to blow up the entire station just to avenge her lover's death. Nikolai tries to persuade her to abandon the idea while Kira rushes to the laboratory. She can't find the zero locker when Christian admits that there isn't one. Kira realizes that Nika deceived them, and they go to confront the Russians about their plans. Meanwhile, Alexei tries to persuade Nika not to blow up the station, but she behaves aggressively. Christian, sneaking up behind her, hits her on the head with a cylinder, but, miscalculating his strength, kills her. As the Russians come to terms with this, Christian and Kira decide to hide, hoping for communication to be restored. The man is devastated, as he only wanted to neutralize Nika, not kill her, and cries from the guilt. The brothers discuss the situation, and Nikolai asks Alexei to help him kill the Americans. He reminds him of their duty to their country and people, but Alexei refuses to participate in murder. He mourns for Nika while Nikolai, taking a screwdriver, goes in search of the pair. Later, Alexei, looking out of the porthole, suddenly sees Gordon clinging to the side of the ISS. The Russian cosmonaut uses the mechanical arm to help Gordon return to the station while Nikolai unsuccessfully searches for Kira. He tries to deceive the Americans, saying that Nika is alive. They need to gather together and think about what to do next, but instead of Kira and Christian, Gordon appears armed with a drill. His friends, shocked by his resurrection, appear. The American demands to know what happened to Nika, and Alexei has to inform him of her death. Enraged, Gordon locks all his colleagues in the compartment and attacks Nikolai with the drill. The men fight until Alexei tries to open the door. Nikolai takes the drill from Gordon and wounds him while Gordon pulls out Nikolai's screwdriver and in turn strikes his opponent in the neck. The astronauts who open the compartment find only two dead bodies, floating in zero gravity, embraced. The survivors arrange the bodies according to protocol and retreat to their sections, trying to make sense of what happened while the station orbits over the burning Earth. Later, Kira goes to the laboratory, examines the room, and finally finds the zero module. This means Nika did not lie. She rushes to Christian and in his sleep capsule finds the Soyuz spacesuit and Russian research. It seems Christian was preparing to return to Earth alone. Meanwhile, Christian sabotages the station's life support system and tries to frame Kira, telling Alexei about Nika's plan to make the American woman take his research and escape. He accuses Kira of selfish motives when Alexei notices malfunctions. He observes a strange tension between Kira and Christian because of a knife the astronaut is using to make a sandwich. But Christian suddenly smiles and asks the Russian cosmonaut to leave them alone for a while. Alexei floats to the door, but Kira suddenly speaks a phrase about mutual support that Nika taught her. Alexei turns around. Then Christian confesses he disabled the life support system, grabs a knife, and attacks Kira and Alexei. A fight ensues. While Alexei blocks the knife with his hand, Kira strangles their colleague. Nevertheless, Alexei receives a knife wound to the hand. Kira provides him with first aid, and later they together restore the life support system. In the laboratory, Kira notices a net installed in the mouse cage, which kept the animals alive, realizing Alexei did this. Suddenly, the communication system turns on, normalizing the station's orbit, and the threat of falling is averted. Messages from their leadership arrive on the astronauts' computers, asking them to confirm that they have completed their missions to take control of the station. However, instead of responding or following government orders, Alexei and Kira take the research results, board the Soyuz, and fall to Earth in an uncontrolled freefall. 
Lastly, Alexei asks where they will fly to, to which Kira finds no answer. This is where the movie ends.